And welcome back. Continuing from part one. Where we warped. To Key in Awaj Island. Now, if you'd taken the left bridge at Yamato, you would have ended up here by go after going through some little bamboo pass. But if you use the turtle stone, you teleport through the red gate. And you end up at the husband and wife rocks. <coughs> That's literally what it is. It's called the husband and wife rocks. Uh, there's spiky things everywhere, and I f actually found out, yes, this does lag on the real N64. Now, I'm guessing that's the wife rock. Once again, proving that Japan is sexually biased. Sorry, ladies, you're the tiny rock, and the husband rock gets to be, like, five feet taller than you. I'm sorry, five, like, five times taller than you. But, you know, all Japanese people are short. Oh, what? Excuse me? Yeah, I know you got insulted after that. Well, whatever. <coughs> and, but it's worth it for a silver fortune doll. Also, I don't hate Japanese people. If I hated Japan, why would I be playing this game? This game is extremely Japanese. My mic better than it is. Yeah, it is. Thought my mic not might be muted for a sec. I was about to head into that coffee shop, but back here is another surprise pack. It's really easy to miss if you're not careful. So, just gonna head inside the coffee shop, then leave, and magically just poof between people just be just because. Because if they were rabbit stones, they would rep reproduce a lot faster and create a lot more magical stones for people to push in four different directions to get a silver cat money, and then luck would just go around too fast. It wouldn't be right. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with yay swords. She cuts enemies in half. Also, another silver fortune doll, cleverly hidden off the side of the cliff, where you'd never look. And... That's the pattern of the dragon head, in case you haven't noticed, and that's Ye's sexual moan whenever she gets attacked. Because Ye's the icon of perverted fanboys everywhere. Like a certain someone I know! A certain purple-loving someone. He whose name shall not be mentioned. I'm trying to look over the side of the lake there to try and find out if there's anything useful, but there's not. So we just move on. Kill those fuckers. Refill a little bit of health, and... Go into this place that looks like a coffee shop, but... That red banner suggests otherwise. It's, uh... It, this music is actually very... Oh, hey, you own a dragon? What? What? Okay. It's none of my busy niece It... Why? 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 Why is there a second E? Damn translation errors. Oh, you know that's not a translation error. That's a lazy typo. Fucking Konami. God. Whoa. Okay, so that's the dragon. You know, I expected the dragon to be green in this game. But it's blue, and that's why I love this game to death. Because their dragon is blue. And not just like not some sc shitty sky blue. That's just his spikes and his ending tail fin. This guy's blue. True fucking blue. Awesome. Enemies fly at you out of here from nowhere, and Ye's sword just blows him up because, you know, cutting him in half would take too much effort here. And there's something strange up on the dragon's head that doesn't appear to be embedded into the dragon in any way, so I don't know how it's controlling it. Because that is what's controlling the dragon, in case you haven't noticed. You know, it, all the floating dragon heads and other things didn't seem out of place, so this has to be the only thing. Colon, Colon, Ha <laughs> ha.
Ah, uh, why pink text? Well, Ibisu Maru, I can an annoying clown, I can understand. And now the dragon starts tilting back and forth and while the machine spins around like a fucking top shooting silver balls at you. But I slice his dick off. Or the little top end. It's very dain it's a very it, it's kinda hard to get the hit detection right here. Especially because the friggin' camera just loves to move around. Yeah, it's panning back and forth with, like, the friggin' dragon. So it's hard to gauge the distance, but, you know, it doesn't hurt you to touch it unless it's when he's yellow, so... You know, just run up and slash the idiot. Whoa! No. Yeah, Ye can magically teleport all of a sudden. That, that's one of the glitches that happens when you get touched by this guy or one of his balls. You just warp around. I guess it's supposed to make you fall off. If you fall off, you'll just end up back at the dragon's tail, but if you have any sort of skill whatsoever, you won't fall off. You'll just blow that motherfucker up, and then the dragon will turn upside down and you'll fall off and die. Game over! This has been Let's Play Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the Impatient Geek. See you all next Let's Play... Okay, it's not fucking... Hey, that's not true. We're ninjas. We have... We're not affected by falls. But that guy might... Be... Ow. Mother... Fucker. How are you getting up after that? Actually, he's got a pretty good reason. That he doesn't even explain to us. The narrator has to do it for him. Why would you suspect that out of nowhere? I guess it's just because he has blue hair, but what about Ye? She's got green hair, that's not natural. Son of the Dragon God! Okay, so he's like... Friggin... Whoa! He looks like... I don't know... Is it just me, or does this guy look stonerish? Oh, shut up! God damn! I hate it when they get all emo on you. But still, no, I want to sit and cry. Yeah, he's being helpful. There we go. Yes, the hot springs. What hot springs? Doot, 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 doot. In case, uh, for those of you who don't know, which is all of you, I, uh, I get all the way to the I plan on getting all the way to just before the next castle. Just because. And appropriately, I let him give Ye the flute because she's the one who receives it. Yes. Oh boy, it's like the flute and King out in Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Okay then, yay. I'll hand this flute to you because women should play the flute. No, Abisumaro, you have to play something manly like the Hichiriki. I, I have... I hate the fucking Hichiriki. Oh my god, it's ugly sounding. I'm sorry, Japan, but... I'll go for a Ditsi or something else from China. I, I love their bamboo flutes. I took a world's music course over the over the course of this winter, and it was actually very enlightening, yeah, even though it was a lot of crap. But yeah. now we're going to play as a Bisumaru, because Fatty needs to run up the stairs in a Rocky yeah. montage, and just yeah. whatever. Here's some good music. I think it makes for some good training music. I, I really love the Compyro mu Mountain music. I mean, I said I loved all the music in this game, but... I love to address each and every one of them individually and give them hugs and kisses. And 
got skewered heads on poles. What? God. Ugh. It's disturbing. Now we have... Oh, by the way, the reason I went to all those coffee shops before... I didn't go into that one twice because I wanted to. It was an accident because of the camera angle. I was holding up on the control stick thinking I'd move out. But no, the camera angle tricked me. Anyway, when, when you visit... A, I visited all the coffee shops before because all the coffee shops I've... Once you visit them, you can transport back to any one of them at will. And I like having options, so... There we go! I have a lot of options. Now watch out for this top level of stairs. Three boulders are going to come down. I take care of them easily. But we need to switch to Goemon here, because we need to get something like an upgrade for his Rio. See this donation box right here? At the shrine? Throw five Rio inside. Yes, there is a god of money, a holy being, devoted entirely to currency. What the fuck? But the Medal of Flames is pretty cool. It's a neat little power-up for the uh, Rio that I never ever use, just because I don't want to. I, there's only a couple places where you need to use it. And that's what it looks like, it just explodes. I like having a nice even five or zero at the end of my... an odd five or an even zero at the end of my count, just because I'm obsessive like that. I like my money this way. Also, I'm just showing you how different it is to go down Kampyra Mountain. I could speed it up, but it's not that bad. You just sort of stumble down the stairs. You can you can jump if you time it just right, but meh. Do 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 do. Oh damn it! Damn it! See, the mu the music. Once again, extreme extreme goodness. If you haven't gotten this music, this game's soundtrack. Well, I don't know what's wrong with you. God. Monster. But anyway, we're, we gotta move out from Kampyra Mountain and move on to... Awa, Folky Poke Village. Uh, whatever. I don't give a shit about dancing. Let's go into the restaurant. I need to show off a couple foods. This restaurant has an orange, noodles, and fresh bonito. Bonito is like some kind of fish. Dish. And I'm never going to talk to the Plasma Man ever again. Well, once more, after, uh... All that. One, once more, after... A certain specific event happens later in the game. Those of you who play, who've played this game, or have watched my other Let's Play, or just know about it... Are... Will, would know. I had to pause there because I gave in to my urge to go to the bathroom. So I cut out the extra weight. A fantastic reward. We'll be talking to this guy again soon. Most definitely. <coughs> you, yow. Wow. That's actually pretty scary. Your father makes us sound like a dragon. Ha 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 ha. Your father's a big angry dragon. This looks like it might be the hotel, but it's not. It's the receiving end for the dragon transport, which we'll never ever use ever again because we don't... We're not going to need to use that place because we have the flute. That's the hotel over there. And here I'm running back and forth deciding what the hell I should do, but then I decide, hey, hey let's just move on. To Tosa. Ooh. Meh. This just must be... yeah. 
Nothing special. Nothing particularly interesting. It's just another scenic path with a bridge and some shallow water and a random pot next to a tree on top of a cliff. Uh, whatever. Oh, now here we get to one of my favorite parts. The Vine Bridge. Let's read this sign right here. See what it has to say. Caution, cross very quietly. I, being the impatient geek, do not cross quietly. I jump over those falling platforms and say, Fuck you, game. I'm not going to wait. And But I decide I should wait because I need to get to that. Well, I'm, no, I'm not going to wait. In a sense, I am going to wait because I have to climb back up, but in a sense, I'm not because I'm getting that fortune doll out of the way right now. I love to jump because I'm impatient. I don't like to wait. But anyway, yeah, those yellowed parts of the bridge, you can just jump over them. Don't even bother. Don't even bother listening to what the game says. Don't tilt the control stick very slowly for this sign. I read it just because it says the same thing. Don't tilt the control stick forward very slowly like that. that that's just a pain in the ass. Just say, fuck that. And here we are in EO. This is the location of the Dogo Hot Springs. And we're met by more Kabuki drummers. How wonderful. Go fuck yourself. Allergies are still bothering, bothering me, but just a little. Not as much. Got some good medicine going on here. Chill. Dragon head. Fuck you, Dragon Head. Now, this is the entrance to Dogo Hot Springs. If you can't tell, it's just like some ultra thin thing. And those doors are closed tight. And there's a tiny hole there, but it's not like the hole of Z. We can't go inside yet. <coughs> Have to get a specific power up for that first. What kind of power up? You'll see soon enough. After I destroy another Dragon Head. This is the EO coffee shop. I thought, I thought there was another... I thought there was something important off the side there. There was not. You have to come in here and talk to some of the people, or just a couple of the people, or just one of them, like I do, to find out about... The dwarf in Zazen Town. Only a dwarf could pass through that a hole that small. So, uh... That's what you figure out from talking to all the people there. So... We go to Z Zazen Town, Zazen Town, whatever it is, and I'll be speeding up uh, after th after the dragon transitions in this video. I'll be speeding all dragon transitions up, or just cutting them out, whichever you guys want. T let me know what you want. If you want transition, or if you want speed up, <coughs> because it's basically the same thing. Only he fought. Only he flies into a different area. What do you do? So we're back in Zazen Town with 50% more yay apparently because I decide not to switch. I'm trying to show off all the characters. I did a lot of going on back and forth, and then I jump off the Gojo Ohashi Bridge, but then I realize, oh hey, wait, I want to talk to Beneki, because you should talk to Beneki when you go through the playthrough, too, even though you're following my walkthrough. Whatever. My let's play walkthrough, blah blah blah. <coughs> Ushiwaka, <coughs> Ushiwaka, the guy with the fish? Holy crap, he is small. Sorry, I had like three different voices through there. But something got caught up in my throat. <coughs> yeah. Just ate? Huh. Maybe you'd want to, like... Well, I guess you'll just stay shrunken if you eat it? <coughs> yeah, that seems like it would make hey, sense. You eat eight of the sweets and you're shrunken forever. We need to be Abyssumara when we talk to, uh, Ushiwaka. If we're anybody else, he'll tell a couple of hints about 
he'll he'll just say no, it's not you. It has to be a person with a thread of eyebrows and a big nose. Yeah, that's what he says. That's not the way to the Golden Temple. The second door is. So we talked to Ushiwaka. And that, that Golden Temple does not look big at all. Wait until you see the inside. <clears throat> so now they're breaking the fourth wall again, talking to the narrator. Because that's the cool thing to do. Yep. Go. And this is the mini game where you don't want to be caught by that guy, otherwise this will happen. You have three hits to collect all eight candies. Well, eight, just eight candies within the time limit. That's what happens when you fail. Yeah. So this time I actually try it again and do it right. It actually took me three times, but I cut it the second time because that was just buffoonery. What you're supposed to do is hide behind the salt shaker so that Oyakata in the background can't find you. I hate those Oyakata. They only appear in the minigame, but they are a pain in the butt. So it looks like he's got a knife on his head. So I'm doing okay here. I'm doing pretty well. Kill that motherfucker so he doesn't get in my way. Stick to the shadows. You're a ninja. This is what you should do. Oh boy, I th that was actually pretty close. I could have been caught there easily. And here's what I I'm trying to show off Ebisumaru's crawl, which is some weird back humping thing. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get an itch on his back, and then I wanted to grab that. And the door's opening again in the cupboard, but then I'm like, you know what? Fuck this! I want the candy! I want the candy! I want the candy! I want the candy! So I got the candy. I win. I rule. I rock the day. I rock away. Rock the night away. So, we don't actually shrink automatically. Abyssumaro just gains the magic in Mini Abyssu powers, which now shows up on the s in the title screen. All the other characters will get magic soon enough. But let's show off Mini Abyssu. He gets some magical pink fairy dust around him. He turns into a pink midget, and you can only use you can only use magic when you're standing perfectly still. So we're gonna switch to Yay and just head back to Eo. That's the only other dragon transition you'll see in this video, I promise. <clears throat> the rest is self-explanatory. It's a fucking dragon, what am I supposed to say? It just flies around in circles. I guess, it ha I guess that would make sense if you're trying to descend and our heroes are on his back and he doesn't want to drop him into the fridge in Japan Sea or something. So we're back in EO, and I don't want to get attacked by it. By the way, you can cancel the flute by pressing any other button. Or I think it's B. Whichever, you can press B again in the middle of playing the song so you don't have to teleport. If you actually, if you accidentally use the flute. So let's mini abyss you through the hole here. Do the disco point. Yeah, he's doing the disco point. Or at least doing a Chunky pose from Donkey Kong 64. Or maybe Chunky ripped that pose off from him. Maybe, just maybe, Chunky ripped off from the Chunky guy. I, I'm getting hit intentionally by these guys because there's something I want to show off. These are light bulbs breathing fire. I know how odd that sounds. But here's the hot springs, the single hot springs. I think you either have to stand in there or lay in there, but once you lay in there for a while, your health refills. Completely. Which is actually pretty damn cool. You know, a full health refill just outside the first dungeon. We're actually coming up on it pretty quick. 
But first, we have to go under this cage as Mini Abyssu, even though you could easily crawl under there. Nope, gotta be Mini Abyssu. They, f they forbid you to do it any other way. We have to go inside this cage, because there's a Silver Fortune doll here. You could fall in here from above, but I don't want to. Falling down there is for punks. You need Goemon for the rest of this part. There's no other areas that require Mini Abyssu, and here's some random geometry just for the hell of it. You know, because all, all roads need... All walking roads need speed bumps. That speed bump looks like you'd impale somebody on it. Huh. I actually tried to kill that scarecrow there, but then I just got caught on the block and I was like, you know what, forget it. Yeah, you can just jump up these platforms if you don't doubt yourself. And here we are, just outside the Peach Mountain Shogun's Toys, Ghost Toys Castle. This has been it for this update of Let's Do It Justice or Let's Play Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon again. I'm the Impatient Geek, and I wish you a very good day, sir. Go on, enjoy yourself. See you later!